Wow, that's bad lighting. Sorry, guys. Here, let me. Well, let me try to get that light out of the way. Any better? Eh, not much. I'm in the storeroom, so we got horrible lighting in here, and I'm using my laptop today. Um, good morning, <laughs> grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, this is gonna. This video is gonna kind of be a part two to uh, the video I put in a week or two ago uh, about setting up ports for a new server. Uh, we, so we got the ports configured, we got the servers installed, but the servers weren't behaving the way we expected them to. Um, we had, uh, let's see, two servers here that were actually pingable. One would ping just fine until we started doing failover testing on it, and then it would drop the pings and wouldn't come back until you rebooted it. That was weird. And then there was another server that, uh, oddly enough, was available here. Oh, we know why it was available here. There was a server that was available here, but the exact same server with the exact same port configs was not available over in our disaster recovery data center. So... Uh, and just just so you know, we we added these we added two well three servers really to uh, our data center here and our data center over in uh, the downtown the county building, and um, we had a mixed mixed bag of results. So yesterday we got on a call, and oh by the way, one of you guys out there caught it, and I'm sorry I don't recall your your name right now, but um, he he definitely caught one of the problems. So. Um, kudos to you, unnamed YouTube viewer. Um, he's obviously very, very well versed in extreme networking and, and VSP switches in particular. Um, so we, anyway, we got on here, we started troubleshooting and the, uh, extreme, the GTAC rep from extreme, uh, global technical assistance center, uh, spotted it about as quick as the other guy did. He says, well, you don't have LACP enabled globally. So I didn't, I didn't know you had to do that. And I haven't had to do that in the, on any of the other switches because apparently it was already enabled globally on all the other switches. Why wasn't it enabled globally here? Um, I wouldn't mind say, saying it was my fault, but it really wasn't. <laughs> because I didn't set these switches up initially. We had um, extreme professional services come in and set these switches up for us. So they laid all the groundwork, they did all the initial configs, and then just kind of handed it off to me with instructions, if you need to do this, if you need to do that, because I, I am not a VSP guy, I'm, I'm learning as I go. Um, so yeah, enabling LACP on the ports isn't good enough, you have to enable it globally. So uh, that's the first thing he did. Um, then what else, what else, what else? So when he enabled LACP globally, one of the servers here in our data center, the same one that's over in the, the same type, the same function as the one over in the San, uh, county data center that isn't responding, this one stopped responding as soon as he enabled LACP globally. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's let's deal with the first server that we were testing with. So we enable LACP, and all of a sudden, so there's four. Let me let me pull up a diagram here. That'd probably be easier. I've already got it all teed up and ready to go. Um, let me do. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Share screen, and I want to share this thing. Okay, there we go. All right, Let's stop looking at my chest. Um, <laughs> so this is this that Dell R two forty you see up there at the top. That's the guy that we were we were basically testing with, and you can see there's there's four links. One is two of them. It's got listed as optional, but uh, they encouraged us to connect them, and we did. Um, and so all four of those Ethernet ports are bonded. They're LACP bonded ports, just like they're they're asking for there and um so we would enable lacp but that uh e0 link you see there on the well it's on my left um that one the link to the switch started reporting all kinds of discards discard 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 
Now that same guy that knew I didn't have LACP enabled globally probably knows exactly what we were about to find out. So we started digging and digging and he, the extreme guy was checking logs, checking logs. And then I remembered something, something that I've actually had a t-shirt made, made up over. Problems I've run into over the years many, many times. And I'm gonna show you that t-shirt and it'll tell you what the problem was. Here we go. You ready? Here's the here was the problem. It's the tagging, stupid. So I had a t-shirt made up because most of the problems I've ever run into with, with all the the networking I've done is incorrect tagging. And oh, by by the way, <laughs> hashtag VLANs. So anyway, so what we so I tell them, can you um, check the tagging on on all the ports on that that MLT? That's what VSPs call a lag, basically, and multi-link trunk. So he checked the tagging on all the ports. The ports that E1 and no, the E2 and E3 were connected to that you see there on top of rack switch seven, those were tagged correctly. They were in the correct VLAN, which will will on the port you'll say untagged. Untagged packets go into this VLAN. On the other switch, top of rack switch six, those two ports, 33 and 34, weren't tagged in anything, or they weren't untagged in anything. They had no tag traffic at all. So he he makes those two ports members of the proper VLAN, that the, the radiology VLAN that these things go in. And boom, all of a sudden, it's working. That switch started working, or that server started working. Now there's another server. You'll see at the very top, there's a couple of blue lines. There's an orange line that says LACP bonded ports, which you'll see I have crossed out. And then a couple of blue lines that go all the way down to the bottom to this server right here, Dell Unity. And they said those need to be LACP bonded ports too. But then you'll see there it says active passive. Well, LACP it hashes that all out. So you want all the ports to be active. So that should have been a tip off, but it wasn't. Um, so we started, we started thinking, okay, well, when we turned LACP off globally, we could get to that. Um, are you sure it, those two ports are bonded, LACP bonded ports? And, and I know I'm using the term incorrectly, but for lack of a better term, ports are bonded and they use LACP. Um, and they kept saying, well, yeah, we, well, we think, and then they start checking with their engineers and their engineers started checking with other engineers and start checking with the group that actually builds these servers and come to find out, no, those, those are teamed, but they are not bonded. I mean, they're bonded, but they're not using LACP. So they're more, more like a team. They, they, the ports figure out which, which one they want to use. They don't need LACP to tell them. So, like you can see there, I've got it crossed out. We we turned LACP off on these two ports, disabled LACP on those two ports. Boom, that server came up. Okay, and then we did our failover testing. We, um, on the still R240, we, we disabled the two ports on top of rack switch six. It kept pinging. We re-enabled them. It kept pinging. We disabled the ports on top of rack switch seven kept pinging, we re-enabled them, kept pinging. And then we also disabled each port one at a time for that Dell Unity. Now that one didn't, didn't come back quite as quick, but the vendors that uh, set up the server said that may be by design because it's it's basically a RAID controller for, for these two big RAID boxes. And it, uh, they said it may have to do some rehashing and, and rerouting of things. So um, they said not to worry about that. So it, uh, when we when either one of these two ports is disconnected, these two orange here, um, oops, get away from that. It'll take about thirty seconds for it to reestablish. So they said that's okay. So that I wouldn't be okay with me, but if it's okay with you, it's okay with me. So okay, that was my data center here. So the next one, the next part was to go over to the other data center, which is basically configured identically to this, just different switch names. 
same ports, same servers, same everything. Um, and we noticed that LACP was enabled globally over there. LACP was enabled on the ports, which is what I had done. So my configs were correct in this case because professional services had remembered to enable LACP on these two switches over there. And I had the port tagging correctly this time instead of screwing it up on those two ports um, like I did last time. Um, so basically everything worked. All we had to do is disable LACP for this uh, bottom server here and it came up. So yeah, that was, uh, that was kind of comical. Um, but I, like I told the, uh, <laughs> like I told the uh, vendor from from the server vendor, I said, you know, <clears throat> I know I kind of messed up some of these configs, but uh, you got to remember, I'm the best network of admin available in this price price range. So uh, yeah, they got a kick out of that. And plus, they had screwed up on their their document when they're telling me that these two ports down there needed to be um, uh, LACP, and they didn't. So I said, well, you know, as long as we're uh, well, there's equally equal screwing up on all sides, then no harm, no foul. Sorry, it's getting cold in here. I'm in the storeroom. There is no air conditioning in here or heating. So uh, just remember, it's the tagging, stupid. Make sure your tagging's right. The only thing I can figure is is just in troubleshooting and, and messing around with that thing. And I, I think I uh, at one point I completely redid the port config. And that's probably when I forgot to tag those, those uh, ports again. Um, where the command in the uh, um, VSP is to make them VLAN members. Uh, so the VLAN members, VLAN number, ports that you want in there, and then the keyword port member at the end. So, <clears throat> okay, ex extreme VSP expert, let me know if I remember that right or not. I'm just doing that off the top of my head and still trying to learn VSP. So... Uh, Anyhow, yeah, so that's the uh, it, all's well that ends well. Now the servers are all connected. They all behave as expected. And uh, we're going to put this issue to bed and I can move on to the next thing. So which is going to be, what am I doing? I think uh, later today I got to start disconnecting some uh, switches that are no longer being used. Uh, they get migrated over. So I think I've already talked about that. And uh, yeah. So anyway, that's all I got today, guys. I'm not going to keep rambling on and on. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. There you go. Um, if you liked what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. And I really appreciate the comments saying uh, you like the channel. And and I, I can even appreciate the comments to say you don't. I get some negative comments, too. It's, it's OK. This is a no fluff channel. I don't have fancy graphics. I don't have fancy music. It's just some old fat guy standing around talking about networks. So, <laughs> and praying for you. Old fat guy prays for you too. So keep those prayer requests coming. Keep those great comments coming. And uh, as always, we'll see you guys next week. God bless. Uh, how do you get off this crazy thing? Stop there.